What is going on, everyone? And on Friday the 13th, I hit up Six Flags Great Adventures Fright Fest for 2017. And I have to say, this year was a great year in review. And I will be reviewing every aspect of Fright by Night at Six Flags Great Adventure for the 2017 amusement park season and there is a lot to discuss and i will be going over every scare zone and what i thought of the scare zones once again and i'll be going over every maze what i thought of the mazes once again and if you didn't know if you haven't hit up fright fest i would start getting there now because at six flies great adventure it's only running until october 31st and it's already october 14th to this day when it's being recorded this video segment so let's go over fright by night without further ado and it starts at around six o'clock p.m so i would suggest getting to the park about a half hour to an hour early although that doesn't always play out so you have it from september 16 to october 31st so it ends a little bit earlier this year however it started earlier this year it started a few days earlier this year so it's ending a few days earlier this year which makes total sense but still they should have made it run to like maybe november 1st or 2nd because october 31st is literally the day of halloween so maybe people won't be wanting to go to fright fest if they don't already so they want to go maybe the day after or something so that kind of sucks how they only make it to october 31st this year so this year you have seven haunted mazes and five scare zones like usual, but seven haunted mazes you have to pur purchase separately. And here's the thing, purchasing the t mazes separately, apparently they, the price goes up towards Halloween and we still purchased it. However, it is absurd the pricing. It's about $35 a person, even if you're a season pass holder. That's crazy for a separate attraction bundle in the park. Especially if you're a season pass holder, you should get a discount of some sort. But they did tell us well, towards Halloween, it goes so let's go over the stuff that's new for 2017. So you have the Unleashed show, which is a steampunk world filled with unique Cirque variety like you've never seen before. And I did not actually hit up any shows this time, but they all look great. I mean, I did get a few, few glimpse, glimpses at them, and I've seen Dead Man's Party before, and I have not seen, I guess, if it's new for 2017. I did not catch Unleashed, unless maybe I walked by and just didn't realize it. But that's really cool, a steampunk world filled in like a circus-based setting. And then the Lady of the Lake Cemetery, which is a new scare zone for the year. You have, it's basically a bunch of ghosts and stuff. It's pretty weird, actually, but it's still a really cool scare zone. So now Haunted Attractions. So these are all the mazes, obviously, that you walk through. And I'm going to be going through them review. So now, I only hit up four of them. And I'll tell you the ones that I did hit up. I hit up Aftermath. I hit up. Cell Block 6, I hit up Wicked Woods, and I hit up Big Top Terra. However, the previous years, I have hit up Bloodshed, and I have also hit up the Haunted Heist, I believe. And I think I even hit up the Manor. So the Manor, from what I remember, is a really cool maze that's like, kind of like possession and stuff and exorcism, which is really cool, and I definitely do recommend it. Total Darkness, I didn't really attempt because total darkness and i'm not really fond of completely dark areas if this is the case aftermath i did for the first time this time and it was a really cool maze actually it had like those it had some alien scenes which was really gruesome and such and you have zombies at the same time it was actually really cool and it had some open areas where people just run at you so it was very crazy it was very cool what they did with the aftermath maze the Haunted Heist is basically just ghosts and such, which is pretty which is pretty self-explanatory. It was a really cool maze once again. Cell Block 6 is a crazy maze with a lot of thin walls, so I wouldn't suggest going into it if you're afraid of like small enclosed areas. So you're like kind of um, maneuvering through like little wall sections and such, and you're barely outside, so it's like a whole entire just cell block. And you have the inmates of the asylum, and you have, like, zombies and stuff. It basically focuses on one theme, but it's really cool of what they did with Cell Block 6. And I believe it is a new maze from 2016, but not 2017, because I did do it last year as well. 
Wicked Woods is a new maze this year, and I have to say this is probably the best maze. It was so long, it took about 10 minutes or more to walk through it, and you had a different theme in literally every setting. For example, I'm not going to spoil much, but you had a few themes of creepy pastas and such, like Slenderman, Bigfoot, all that type of stuff, and all the myths. Like, Wicked Woods focus on myths. So, it'll be, re it was really awesome what they did. It was, it was mainly, it was a very long maze, but I guess they had a lot of room to make the maze long. But I would have to say, for a new 2017 maze, they did a great job with it. Big Top Tower was very fun, and with the 3D glasses, it creates a really cool effect, although it does hurt your eyes after a while. But I do definitely recommend this maze as well, if you're looking for more of a fun time. And this one was also, I believe, new for 2016. Bloodshed was an, I did not do it this year, but Bloodshed last year was an awesome maze. And it was also one of those longer mazes, and it had some really grotesque settings towards it, which made it really, like, creepy, and you don't really want to go through it if you're afraid of, like, disturbing scenes and such. But it was really cool with what they did with Bloodshed. Now let's go over the Demon District, which is a villainous deformed demons lurk around every corner beneath thick green fog. And I have to admit, yeah, it was it's a crazy scare zone. I'd have to say the demon district is probably the best scare zone in the park. It has that thick green fog you can barely see anywhere that you're walking through. You had demons slamming down these big gigantic loud cans and you had laser pointers coming at you and you had chainsaw demons running at you. It was an awesome scare zone that I definitely recommend you walk in and it is right in the area of Batman and the Dark Knight coaster and also on the way to Justice League Battle for Metropolis and also somewhat in the area of Nitro. So if you are looking for that area, that's where it is because it's an awesome scare zone. The Bloody Fountain is the main street area of the park, and I have to say that it's always a nice time to watch the Bloody Fountain with a gigantic, scary, scarecrow-like pumpkin statue that just has the glowing red eyes. And it's mainly, it's a little bit of everything. You have, like, chainsaws and ghouls, like, running around. And it's always, it's, it's the classic scare zone of Great Adventure, and it's always a fun time to walk around the fountain and get scared by all these ghouls. Bone Butcher Territory is also always a, one of the classic ones, and they have chainsaws and axes and such, which they come at you with. However, this year was a little bit underwhelming because there weren't as many ghouls walking around in this territory as there usually are from the previous years, but it was still very cool of a scare zone, and always is, with all the fog coming around. If you ask me, the Karn Evil was probably the best scare zone right behind demon district because if you ask me the carnival was probably usually it doesn't have that many clowns coming around but this time there's a lot of clowns and i was very surprised because there were clowns at every corner in the scare zone and this scare zone is just around the boardwalk and such oh and i forgot to say bone territory is right by bizarro runaway mine train so basically right over that bridge from el toro so that's where you want to go find bone territory which is by the wicked wood zone and the carnival is on the way to King Ka, Superman, Green Lantern. It's the whole entire boardwalk section. So I think it's meant to be like the biggest scare zone. Just usually there aren't that many clowns walking around. But this year they put in a lot of them. So I have to say the carnival was very cool this year and scary. Lady of the Lake Cemetery once again was a really cool scare zone. And I have to say that it was very, maybe a little bit underwhelming, but it was still really cool. And of course, you have a lot of entertainment. You have the Corvix, the Alternative Electric, which is right by the Bridge of El Toro. And the Unleashed, which is what the steampunk thing is. The Dead Man's Party, if you don't watch it at least one time when you're at Fright Fest every year, then I'm, I feel sorry for you, but it's always a great, great time. Um, The Awakening I've seen as well. And Ignite is actually one of the shows that I passed on the boardwalk. It's right by the clown section. It's really cool and very spectacular with what they do. And Dr. Swan's Sideshow of Oddities, I saw that last year, I believe, but not this year. Which is a really, like, I think it's like a magic show, I guess you could put it out as, but it's really cool. And of course, most of the rides are open for Great Adventure, like Twister, Haunted Swashbuckler, Bizarro, Superman Ultimate Flight, El Toro, Nitro, Skyscreamer of Doom... And they also have Keep the Car open and a bunch of other rides. So I would have to say that now, unlike Holly in the Park, which is when they don't have that many rides open, 
Fright Fest, they have every ride open still. So this is like your last chance of the year to get like all the rides in for the park until you have to wait till like April to get every ride in. Because they only have a select amount of rides open for Halloween in the park due to weather conditions. So, if you have not already, go visit Fright Fest 2017 at Six Flags Great Adventure or at your local Six Flags Park ASAP because they are coming to a close soon since Halloween is just right around the corner. Literally just right around the corner at this point. So I hope you guys all had a happy Friday the 13th. Were you unlucky or lucky? Let me know in the comments below and I'll catch you all next time here on this channel.